How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you this. That's right, I'm going to show you how to set any song as your iPhone ringtone. And the coolest thing is this process works with iOS 14, so it's 100% updated, it's free. And also, you don't even need a computer. So all you need is your iPhone, and you're gonna have this done in just a couple minutes. It's so, so cool. And when I say any song, I mean any song. So you can pick your favorite song from your favorite artist and set as your iPhone ringtone. It's amazing. So the app we're gonna use for this is GarageBand. I'm pretty sure you're familiar with GarageBand. It's one of the oldest Apple native applications. So as I said, it's free. So if you don't already have it, all you have to do is open up the App Store, go to search, and search for GarageBand. As you search, you're gonna have a look at this. This is the icon. It's this orange or reddish guitar. You can go ahead and download it. I'm also going to have a link in the description just to make it easy for you. All right. So open up GarageBand. And GarageBand is always in landscape. So let's change the orientation here and zoom in a little bit so you guys can have a better look. Now we're going to slide to the right a few times because we're going to need the audio recorder tool. Tap in the middle of it. And then we're going to need to tap on a few buttons. So follow me to get the instructions right. OK, so the first button we're going to tap is this blue right here, the metronome. Tap on it so it doesn't annoy us later in the video. Then you're going to tap on the third button from your left to your right. So this one right here. And then it's going to flip, as you guys can see. Then we're going to need to tap on the little plus button right there at the top right hand corner. Very tiny plus button. And then we're going to tap on this little section, which says eight bars. So tap on it. And then we're going to need to change from eight to 30, because those bars are actually going to mean seconds. So we're going to change to 30 seconds, as you guys can see. And then you can tap in the gray area. We're done. We have sat here our canvas, let's say, for 30 bars. And then we're pretty much good to go because now we just need to select the song. So we're going to tap on the second button from right to left, this little loop icon. And then you can go to your files and select your audio file. Keep in mind that you can select any audio file that you have in pretty much any format, MP3, WMA, pretty much any format. And as I said, this will work for any song. So you can download from the internet your favorite songs. You can just download absolutely any MP3, any music file, any audio file. So again, it can be a song, an audio, whatever you want. Okay, even like your homemade audio, you can choose. And then if you want to, you can tap on here to browse your files app. And that's where you're going to select that audio. So as you, as you can see, I'm seeing here all my audio files from my files app. All right. And by the way, if you're not really familiar with the files app, I have a dedicated video on this teaching you everything about this application. I'm pretty sure you're going to love it. I'm going to leave a card right here and leave the video in the description as well. So let me select the song. I'm going to select this first one. And that's the same one we just heard in the intro. OK, and then it's going to load right here, as you guys just saw. And then all you have to do is drag the song to the gray area. So we're going to tap and hold and drag. So have a look at the movement here. So tap and hold, drag and then let go. That's it. And then you're good to go. Uh, if you want to, you can actually pick the correct exact position of the song you wanted to start. And to stop to do that, you just double tap on the little blue um, indicator here, and then uh, you can tap and hold and then move around if you want to, right? But if not, all you have to do, you're good to go. You can tap on play, and that's it. I'm just not selecting a famous and nice song to show you guys because of copyright issues with YouTube. Otherwise, I would pick it killer Drake song. But what can I do? And now it's just a matter of, of exporting. So tap on the first icon here on your left, this arrow pointing down, go to my songs. And then I already have others just because I've done this before. 
but uh, on yours again it's probably just gonna be one so you can tap and hold and then you can go to share the last button ringtone and then continue it's just gonna automatically trim to 30 seconds no problem and then you can put the name you want you can like my song one my song two I'm gonna leave it like my ringtone so as you can see my ringtone two done and then it's gonna go to your ringtones that's exactly where we want to go export and then it's gonna take like five seconds to export and we're good to go it's done so you can hit OK you can go to your settings let me just zoom out just a bit so uh, we can go back to our settings back to sounds and haptics ringtone and as you can see now I have two my ringtone and my ringtone too so again that's it that's it guys so that's pretty much it guys hope you enjoyed this video i decided to make this updated ios 14 video because i already have an ios 13 one which just blew up just really impressed me and i decided to make this new one in 2021 with the latest ios version just to show you that it still works perfectly so that's pretty much it and I'll see you guys in a few days as usual. Bye-bye.